Hello students and welcome to the world of 3D which is amusing, elusive and never ending and this is the Autodesk 3ds Max software. In this we will learn how to make uh, models on CG world and how to lit the objects and how to animate. This is the introduction of 3D. In this we uh, discuss the interface of 3D and this is the 3D design and modeling. In this we are creating uh, scenes and uh, characters. This is look development. In this we are working on the feel of the models. This is lighting and camera in the lighting we are creating the depth and creating our shadows to give a realistic feel and this is camera for the angle. We set a camera and then create a output and in visual effects we are creating the effects. like water or a smoke effect. In animation, we create a animation with the characters. So, let us move with the introduction of 3D. In this lecture, we shall learn the basic of 3D and to start with, we shall start with the term 3D like it suggests 3D means 3 dimensional which is uh, x axis, y axis and z axis. Anyways that you see in 2D because it has length and width, but it lack the depth. It might give you a nice perspective and illusion of depth, it is still in 2D object. So, we go with the software, we see that we have our x axis and y axis in 2D softwares. Here are positive and here are negative. And in z axis, we have a depth like this. And in 3D design and modeling, we create a model modeling with standard parameters or extend parameters or patch modeling and in poly modeling we tweak a vertex or a polygons to create some characters and scenes. This is a spline modeling and this we have a line tool. We can create our shapes with the line tool. So, first we will see the interface of 3D. This is a 3D software. Here we have our tools and this is the create panel. This is the modify. This is for hierarchy and this is motion panel. This is display and this is utilities and this is move tool to move the object on grid. We have the four views in this, the top one and this we can see the object from the top and the front one from the front and the left one from the left and we can switch the views by clicking on this by click on the right click, go to the view here we can change the views. If we want a bottom view, then bottom or a right, by default it is a left. This is a perspective view. We can see the depth of the object in this view.
to go in the top view or front view or perspective view press alt w for minimize and maximize the window here we have a undo tool and this is redo this is move tool as we have discussed to move the object on grid these checks are grid and this is a rotate tool and this is a uniform scaling tool or a scale tool we will discuss all the tools with our modeling requirements here we have a snaps for snap on grid if we take a box from the standard parameter and click here this is for snapping on the grid this is a angle snap and on right click we have got the settings of these tools that we want to snap on grid or a pivot or on vertex we use this tool with the rotation we can snap the rotation with the perfect degree to give the angle here and this is the snap radius this is the snap preview radius we can pan it these tools from the blank space here we have option of mirror to mirror a uh, object this is the align tool whatever we are creating on view ports and want to see the final output here we have a quick render we have got the output with this in the file we have a new option to make a new file and this is for reset the mac software this is for open a file save save as save as copy to save a copy of the file set project folder import export we can import the other 3d software files and if we want to export then we have to save the file autodesk fvx format then we can open the file with any software 3d software this is the archive option if we create a scene and put some images and we put and then we save in archive it collect all the images in the one folder and zip that file this is the 3ds max archive zip folder to see the image in the max 
here we have an option of view image file. If we want to see this, give a path and we have got this window. In the edit option, we have a undo, redo, hold, delete and move. We select a move tool from here, here we, we can see it is going to be highlight, rotate, scale. We have in tools a mirror option as we see here. snap, spacing tool, clone and align. To create the object, we have uh, open parameters of this, the standard parameters or we can take it from here and create. We have a uh, standard parameters, if you want a cone, you see here the cone is highlight. this cone and this is box. Sphere, geosphere, cylinder, tube, torus, pyramid, this is the default this is the default teapot in this and this is a plane to put a surface then we see in the perspective view, we can see the depth of all the objects. And this is a grid, these checks are grid. If we want to hide this, then select on this and show grid off. Here we have the standard parameters. With the standard parameters, we have these object type. And if we go to the modify panel and select the object, we have got the parameters of the object which we have selected. That I have selected the pyramid, then we have got the width of pyramid, depth, height, and these are the width segments. Depth segments, height segments, segments give us a smoothness. Alt plus middle mouse button and rotate the mouse is for see the object from all the views. And here is a render. We got the render of this pyramid and we can save this output. into any format, we have a format here, JPG, PNG, MOV, AVI, BMP.
this is 3 D design and modeling and in modeling we have C these standard parameters, this box cone pyramid and in the extend parameters we set the max, we select here, here we have the extend parameters. Hydra. With these standard or extend parameters, P model a scene. Chamfer box. Chamfer cylinder, capsule, spindle. Here we have a L extension or a L shape. And C shape. Prism, scroll, scroll down and scroll up for zoom and zoom out. We select this horse and go to the modify list. We have got the parameters of this object, right segment dividation starts from ends from cycles. Diameter. This is the diameter of this whole shape and sides. We want a rectangular one, then switch here in rectangular, deselection. Whatever we are created in 3D, we have got the parameters in this modify panel. This is the chamfer box. In the standard primitive, we do not have the chamfer. 
feet is for these are the edges these white one and where edges intersect a vertex form and these are the polygons and fleet give a roundness to the edges then length segments width height fleet segments In this we have a cylinder again we have a fleet put here a slice on this is for slicing the chamfer cylinder from slice from and from slice to We create the object in top view and see the height in the front or left and top, front and side view are the orthographic views. In the orthographic views we have two axes. If we select this horse we see here the x axis and y axis and in front view and in side view but in perspective we have a z axis this is a rotate tool you can see the degree here or in here in which axis we are moving the object So, this is the extent parameters. We have a patch grids. You set this software. This is the patch grids. This is quad patch these are the planes it has a length and width go to the modify panel and we see the length and width and segments We select the object and right click on the object. Here we have a option to convert in editable poly mesh, poly, patch and we are modeling in the patch. So, convert this into a patch.
you select these vertex and move in the z axis. The patch grid we have got the smooth effect. and we can tweak the handles, these are the handles. F 3 is for wireframe mode. the patch we have created this. If I go in the standard parameters and take a plane, and do here a same dividation. And convert this into poly. and select these vertex. We have got the effect or result like this. With the patch we have got the smooth effect. and this is try patch. In this we have a uh, 4 vertex, we go to the modify list and select the vertex, we see the 4 vertex. and the patch, try patch, we have a 3 vertex. But with this also we create a smooth effect. see uh, output. We have discussed standard parameters, extend and patch and by default we have here uh, doors, windows, AEC extend and stairs. Go to this standard parameter, then select a door. pivot door let's 
this is the door if we if, if we go to the modify list or a panel we adjust the height the width depth and this is for create frame depth of the frame here we have a degree to open this to open this door this is for double this is for flipping frame width depth and offset thickness of this inner frame this is for dividation you see the render if we put here a uh, beveled then we have got the parameters of bevel you can see the geometry has got a change this is pivot door and this is sliding doors this is a sliding one this is for flipping the front panel or a back panel this is a biofold length width width of frame dividation So these are the doors we have discussed doors and here we have our windows height width depth frame thickness of this width portion for upper close
this is fixed. This is again pivoted. projected sliding width, depth, for open close. We will check the all the parameters of these those windows. We have covered till here windows. Now AEC extend. We set the software. Here is AEC extend. this we have in flourage we have our trees if you are creating a scene and you want to put a tree in the scene, then if you model it will take uh, very much time by default we have this storage. Then go to the modify panel, got the properties of tree height, density new seed want to put leaves trunk branches roots this is palm tree pine Yaka every flourage has same parameters this is for low detailing high detailing or medium detailing put here are low, we have got our very less segments.
and in detail we have got the detail of this tree flowage railing this is railing length square or round you want a square surface on this railing and put here a square or a round depth width height for low railing on click here can give the spacing on this railing start offset and offset edges centers follow instance copy reference this is for middle one then press here for spacing counts start offset and offset the ec extend you have a walls press here take a snap tool well point we have got this walls from the modify panel we snap on the grid here is the option of left on grid or center of grid or right on grid we have the vertex segments profile
if we take a copy of this by pressing shift we can attach from here and click and it's become a model or a mesh so in the ec extent we have discussed the floorage walls railings this is the option of stairs stairs i'll type is stairs Aerial stairs, straight stairs, U type, This is a U type of stairs. Go to the modify panel, open closed. One is to open from the bottom, close or a box. This is to put a support length 1 length 2 width offset overall height steps this is the thickness of a step and depth of a step this carriage at spring carriage spacing counts at center Reeling mark here a left railing, right path rail, this is the height of railing offset segments radius. This is a straight stairs, L type stairs, spiral stairs, again closed box, layout clockwise or anti clockwise, radius, revolves.
steps sags So in the basic modeling, we have learned how to make uh, objects. In the basic objects, we have a standard primitives. In this, we have a box, cone, cylinder, and in the extend primitives, we have some round effect objects. And with the patch grid, we have learned that we have in this we have a plane, we have two dimensions length and width and we make a, we model a smooth with this and here we have in doors, we have the pivoted doors, biofold doors by default we have some doors and in windows we have a flip windows or pivoted or biofold. In the AEC extent we have a floorage or a railing and a walls and in, in stairs we have a C type stairs, straight stairs or a use stairs. So, in this modeling we have covered these things, these are the basic object in this modeling. Thank you.